Hello, my dears. How are you? Today I'm here to solve certain problems on behalf of a vector. Great. Number one says the resultant of a four and then a six a unit vectors is ten units. Then we requested to find the resultant, I mean the angle between vector four and then vector six. Great. Guys, to do such a problem, we have to use the cosine law. And now, let it be first, okay? And now, let vector A is for you. Vector B is 6 you. And then the resultant of vector A and the vector B is given as 10 units. Let to be R of AB is, is 10 units. Grand. So we request you to find, I mean to find, okay, the angle between the two vectors. To do so, as what I said, we have to use a cosine law. We have to use. We have to use a cosine law. To find the angle between them. Correct. Now look. R of a B the whole square which is equal to the square of vector A plus square of vector B plus twice of the square of A B then cosine of theta. We don't know the exact value of vector A. Our I mean emphasis upon the value of vector A. I mean the value of vector of theta. I mean the angle theta. Therefore, now what we have to do? We have already the resultant vector AB is given. The vector A is given. Vector B is given. So the only thing is substituting or inserting in terms of vector A, B, and then the resultant vector AB. So already R of AB is given that is any unit. Any unit. A is given, which is for a unit. And then it's scary. And then B is given that is 6, and then it's scary. Plus a B. That is A is 4 unit, B is 6 unit. 4 times 6 is definitely 24. 24 times 2 it becomes 48. Okay? Scale of units. And then cosine of theta. Great. Look, my dears. While we scare 10 unit becomes 100 square and then this becomes 16 a square and then this becomes 36 square of u plus 48 square of u and then cosine of theta. Press is 16 a square of unit plus 36 a square of u it becomes 52 a square of u 100 a square of u is equal to 52 a square of u and then plus 48 a square of u or sine of theta now what we 
have to do now? We have to collect the black terms. And then, under it, just get a few minus 52 square of u, which is equal to 48 square of u cosine of theta. 100 square of u minus 52. 100 square of u minus 52 square of u becomes 48 square of u. 48 square of u, which is equal. As you see, 48 Scale of u or sine of theta. Now, what do we have to do? Next, just eliminate 48 scale of u from the right side. Just divide 48 scale of u or sine. And then it becomes 1. And then it becomes 1. This implies that, it implies that, cosine of theta, we understand that the value of cos theta is equal to 1. This implies that theta is equal to cos inverse of 1. As we know, cos inverse 1 is 0. Zero. zero really. And then generally, this vector from this, we understand that vector uh, 4 and then the vector 6, they are Collinear vectors, collinear vectors. Okay. Now number two says the magnitude and the direction of the force, which has an x component for the Newton and then a y component for the Newton, it is given. We requested the magnitude of a certain Newton and then for the Newton, as well as the direction of the main vector it is. So to do this solution, let it be. Okay, the main vector, as you see, it's the x component and then as well as y component as given, starting Newton and then 40 Newton respectively. But from the unit, we guess, okay, the, the given vector could be a force. Let it be the main vector is a force vector, right? And then its x component is okay, which is thirty newton. Let it be. We have to say f of x is thirty newton. And then its y component is let it be f of y is equal to forty newton. Have you seen my dears? The component is okay. Make head and then tail condition here. And then they are mutually perpendicular. And then the opposite of 90 degree is considered as hypotenuse. In our case, the opposite of this is known as or resultant vector. So, first we have to find the resultant vector by using a Pythagorean theorem. Oh, but we may use what we call it uh, the cosine law. Now, we may use the Pythagorean theorem. Let it be f of r square z equal to f of x the whole square plus f of y, okay, the whole square. And then we don't know the exact value of f of r. And then f of r becomes under root of f of x square plus f of y square. This is equivalent to waves. And then f of x is given that is 30 newton. This is scary. It becomes 900 square of n plus f of y is 40 newton. This is scary. It becomes 1600 square of n. And then the sum it, and then it becomes 2,500 square of n. As you see, these are the perfect scale, and then it becomes 50 newton. Fr becomes 50 newton. The next 
our problem is we requested to find this angle. The angle of inclination of the mean vector from the positive x axis. Let it be alpha. To find the value of alpha, to find the value, the value of alpha, we have to use the following relation. We have to use the trigonometric uh, concept by saying tan alpha is equal to sine alpha over cosine of alpha. This is nothing. It is opposite to right hotness and then this is holds up alpha is adjacent to right hotness and then it becomes simply f of y over f of x. It symbolizes that tan alpha becomes simply f of y over f of x. Alpha becomes tan inverse of f of y over f of x. Alpha becomes tan inverse of f of y squared 40 newton over 30 newton. And then this becomes simply tan inverse becomes 4 over 3. Thank you.